Hey guys, it's Jordan with National Speed. Now one question I see regularly in the A90 Supra groups is how to drain fuel on these cars. Now this could be if you're just changing fuels or if you need to pull a quick sample to determine your ethanol content. With some cars, this is a pretty intuitive process, but with A90 Supra and many other late model cars, it's a little bit more involved. So in this video, we'll go over the fuel bleeder tool, cover the procedure, and also share with you exactly what parts you need to buy to build your own tool. Up first, let's go over the fuel bleeder tool itself. Now, this cool little assembly was originally put together by one of our guys here named Charlie Carmichael, and we liked it so much that we built one for each of our shops. This assembly temporarily installs between a factory quick connect fitting and gives you the ability to bleed off fuel while the car is running. One end has a female quick connect and the other has a male quick connect, and in between is a ball valve with a drain hose. So with that, let's go ahead and step through the procedure. But before we do, let me start by saying that tampering with any fuel system is dangerous and should only be done by an experienced technician. If you decide to do this yourself, proceed with caution. Now, our A90 Supra is equipped with a Visconti tuning flex fuel conversion, but the procedure is the same for a stock vehicle with one small additional step. The one difference is that your stock fuel line will have a retainer clip on the female quick connect fitting. This must be removed and securely replaced each time the fitting is disconnected and reconnected. Up first, with the vehicle off, we need to disconnect the main fuel feed line quick connect fitting on the driver's side of the engine bay. Note that this line is still pressurized with the vehicle off, so before you do, wrap the fitting with shop rags to keep fuel from spraying everywhere and make sure to wear eye protection. And for demonstration purposes, here's what it looks like without shop rags covering the fitting. As you can see, that can make quite a mess. If your vehicle does not have a flex fuel conversion, then remove the retainer clip and go ahead and cover the line for disconnection. Apply pressure to the female fitting, pushing it away from the secured male end. With the line disconnected, connect your bleeder assembly. For stock vehicles, even though this assembly is temporarily installed, make sure to reconnect the retainer clip. Trust me, you don't want a quick connect fitting backing off while the engine is running. Next, double check your connection point to make sure your ball valve is in the closed position. Then place the bleeder hose in your fuel container and you're now ready to start draining. Next, start the car up while having someone check your connection points to ensure no leaks are present. If all looks good, go ahead and slowly open the ball valve to around a quarter position. Completely opening the ball valve could cause the car to stall, so you want to open it enough to get a good flow going, but not too much. During this procedure, you can close and reopen the bleeder as many times as you need. Simply monitor the fuel level in your container, and that's pretty much it until you've drained your fuel to the desired level. And note, while this procedure is perfectly safe for the engine, the reduced fuel pressure may affect your fuel trims, so keep an eye on them if you have the ability to via Ecutech or another software. And with your fuel drained or sampled, you're now ready to remove the bleeder assembly. With the engine off, make sure the drain hose is still placed in the fuel container, and go ahead and open the ball valve entirely. This will bleed off the pressure and allow for a pressure-free disconnection, but still be prepared for some fuel to come out. Reverse your steps and reconnect the OEM quick connect fittings. For stock vehicles, make sure to replace the retainer clip and ensure that it's seated properly. Again, I can't stress enough how much you do not want a quick connect fitting to separate while the vehicle is running. Your car could burn to the ground, so take this seriously. With the quick connect fitting reconnected, start the car up again while having someone check the connection points to ensure no leaks are present. And that's it, pretty simple. So next let's go through the parts you'll need to build your own tool. But before we get into that, to make things easy, we've included links to every part you'll need in the description of this video. And here's each part of the assembly. One 6AN to male 516's quick connect fitting. One 6AN swivel hose end. 1 6AN to female 516's quick connect fitting. 1 6AN swivel hose end. 2 6AN male to quarter inch MPT male adapter fittings. 2 6AN swivel hose ends. Quarter inch MPT female T fitting. Quarter inch MPT male to quarter inch MPT female ball valve fitting. 
quarter inch MPT male to quarter inch barb male adapter fitting. And of course you'll need 6AN hose of your choice. And guys, that's it, it's pretty straightforward. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. And as always, if you have any questions at all, we're happy to chat. Thanks for watching.